It's time to stop poisoning yourself and your family and your loved ones. How do you do that? You do that by using certain vegetables and heating it to a very high temperature, leading to a substance known as acrylamide. And this causes cancer. In this episode of the Energy Healing Podcast, we're going to explore further. Okay, so I am plant-based. Most of the food that I eat are directly from the ground or growing off trees. You would think it's healthy, and of course it is, but it's not the food that we eat that is the problem. It's the way we process the food. So when you fry foods, when you roast them, bake them, grill them, of course you want to do that with many of your foods. Some of them you can't eat like potatoes without treating them with heat. Now when you do that, there comes a temperature where beyond that temperature you create a substance called acrylamide, particularly in starchy foods. Now you can see the list below in the description of all the different foods which can potentially create acrylamide. This acrylamide when tested on mice, when tested on rats, it has been shown again and again to be carcinogenic, in other words, cancer forming. So we all have cancerous cells in our body for sure, but there comes a tipping point beyond that, then it becomes something that only eventually leads you to your grave. I know it's a serious topic, but it's something that you must consider. So what are the foods that we need to be considering? Well, the biggest one in England, fried. The chips is prepared in oil or fat and this oil of fat, the temperature goes up to 200 degrees Celsius, at least according to Jamie Oliver, to create great fries. You take it to 200 Celsius, whereas the cutoff point is 120 degrees Celsius. So you're guaranteed you are going to create acrylamide. Now, there's not been enough scientific studies to prove otherwise, but it is better to err on the side of caution. Now, you might think, hey, this is not science-based. Oh, yes, it is. The food standard agencies in America and the UK have been warning the public of this particular issue, acrylamide, for years and years, but most people don't pay attention. So what can you do? So instead of frying, grilling, or anything that takes the temperature beyond 120 degrees, steam your food, boil your food. You don't have to over steam, you don't have to over boil because the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. So that keeps you below that 120 degrees threshold. The other thing is don't eat processed food because most of them have been thermally heated one way or the other and it will take the temperature to extreme high levels. So that's the second thing which is to keep off processed food. The third thing is eat more salads, eat more raw foods, find different creative ways to prepare your food. So in the description, you will find a list of all the vegetables which are highly likely to form acrylamide and those vegetables that don't cause this issue. So have a look at it. Please seriously consider the kind of food you are putting in. You might think it's healthy because it's vegetable, but then you discover it's actually destructive. When you change bit by bit, you will find your lifestyle will change and your health will also improve. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and share this video if it resonates. See you next time.